Thank you very much, right honorable speaker. On 20th of this month at around 2 p.m., a truck with registration number UAT 113F veered and plunked into the River Nile at Karomba Bridge. This truck had two occupants, Mr. Tumusime, the driver, and a turnman. And uh, goods are worth several millions. In 2021, on 25th of April, a fuel truck with registration num number UAS 337M belonging to Energy Petrol Station in Lira City also plunged into uh, the Nile at the same bridge and was equally never recovered, including the bodies of two occupants, Alex Ogwal, the driver, and Awad Obaro. Right, Honorable Speaker, according to the police in Aswa region, over 25 trucks have so far plunged into the River Nile from the same spot since 2011. And all have never been recovered, including the bodies of the victims of those um, accidents. This bridge has become the most dangerous in the country, leading to loss of several lives and goods worth billions of shillings. This bridge was built in 1963 a year after Uganda attained independence, and so much has changed since then. I therefore write, Honorable Speaker, pray that one, government takes an urgent and proper rehabilitation works on this bridge to save lives and uh, properties of the citizens. Number two, right, Honorable Speaker, a new bridge needs to be designed and, and constructed to fit the current demands and challenges so we can uh, allow the country to move freely. Otherwise, right, Honorable Speaker, we run the risk of cutting one part of the country uh, without having access if we don't act immediately. Thank you very much. I totally appreciate the concerns of Honorable Mapinduzi. And uh, yes, this bridge, first of all, has outlived its usefulness even in terms of location and approach. That's why we had even reinforced the approach on control of the speed to the approach of the bridge with the humps and uh, bramble strips, but also put some soldiers and including a police traffic control element on one side. It is true that this bridge is going to be redesigned. We are in the process of redesigning this bridge. We are only challenged with the funds. If we had the funds, we would have started the construction. But with discussions with the, some development partners to see that we redesign and re reposition this bridge to meet the challenges of the increasing traffic on that road. It's very unfortunate that this number of accidents have happened, but we, we are going to increase more reinforcements as of now uh, so that uh, at least the once that if the truck hits on it, it doesn't topple over. Thank you very much. Thank you.